Pop-Up Dungeon is a tabletop roguelike, uh, similar to like Card Hunter, if you guys played that, that was like my favorite game for the longest time, and still is, like one of my favorite tabletop style games. Just a game you can just sit back and just kind of relax and just play, uh, you know, a randomly generated, uh, a you know, tabletop experience, in this case randomly generated, a uh, Card Hunter, where there are like preset campaigns, but there's like a hundred of them. Um, and this one is, uh, it, it feels like it's definitely more accessible. Uh, it's kind of, you know, baby's first tabletop, kind of, kind of get, them, get, them, get them started, right? Uh, and I'm right in the middle of a run right now, which is why we're not started at the, at the title screen, because I feel like this is a good opportunity to kind of jump right into the combat portion of it or the actual encounter portions, uh, so you can see what that looks like. And then we're going to dive into some of the behind the scenes stuff, uh, the actual, you know, creation of different items, uh, creation of characters, the uh, built in like user generated content se section. They have work. They don't really have workshop support necessarily. They have like their own built in kind of like trials, trials. You can have their own like market. You can go through and, uh, uh, and download tracks and whatnot. So we're going to start off with the combat. Then we're going to move into, into all that stuff because the back end stuff is extraordinarily extensive. The combat portion of it is it's good. And also like, it's, you know, it's, let's do it. It's a little simple. Now, uh, <laughs> Maybe a familiar voice. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, my team is composed of. Let me see if I can pull my team here. Oh yeah, let me get into an encounter first. Uh, but yes, that, that is uh, Commander Shepard. <laughs> let me go move this guy around here. <clears throat> so Shepard is on my team. Um, let's go and get to the other side of this wall. Where's the door? There it is. Okay, it'll automatically find the door. You do have the ability to zoom in, zoom out. You can you can uh, you know spin the spin around and pan and all that good stuff. So there's plenty of op opportunities for. Uh, Navigating and looking around. Um, these are all the characters that we're going to be fighting here, obviously. Here we go. Now we can see all the different characters I have. We can go through their item, their character sheets. So I have SpongeBob, Commander Shepard, Tali, Zora, Erdnot Rex, and Arthas. This is an all-star cast here. <laughs> SpongeBob is actually like really good. <laughs> like he can tank pretty well, and he can also dish out some damage, which is pretty nice. Uh, and they have obviously this is part of the user-generated content portion, right? Um, and they have, you know, some character sheets that are, are fa fa fairly fitting. Obviously, I replaced his spatula, <laughs> this, this fucking spatula, with, uh, with you know, uh, uh, a submachine gun. Um, <laughs> naturally, <laughs> SpongeBob with his sub. Uh, he does have his karate chop. He does have his, yeah, yeah, his t enemy taunts. Uh, that is my leg. React when enemy moves, target mover, blah, 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 right? So it shows what his, uh, you know, his, his uh, HP, AP, his strengths, weaknesses, all that good stuff here. And of course, his uh, his skin over here on the left. Uh, we'll go through another one here. We'll go to Shepard. Shepard is a bit more support. He can give tech armor to somebody else, uh, which is just basically armor for two turns. Um, he does have a blaster and he does have meta gel, which is an automatic, automatically applying um, a reactive type of spell that plays whenever you know, a certain thing happens, which is typically when another character takes damage, or even when Shepard takes damage, uh, he'll automatically apply Metal Gel, Metal Gel to himself. Tali Zora is a summoner, uh, and she can, uh, she does have, oh, she has Sprinkles now, that's right, I replaced something else with Sprinkles, um, but she has the ability to, uh, she has a Shotgun Blast, and she also has uh, Antibiotics, which is just a little heal. Um, it's gray because there's no situation we can use it in right now. Uh, and then feed the meter. What's this one? So transfer. Well, this must be another one I picked up just 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 now. Uh, I'm playing the endless run, so we're gonna do a run, and then regardless of whether or not we win or not, we're just gonna end it and go back, so we could take all take a look at all the back end stuff. Um, she has go for the optics, and this is basically her summon. So if you keep her kind of towards like the mid range or so, because she has a shotgun, it's got a good, pretty good range, one or two. Uh, then she can just sit there, just summon these guys, and and they last for about like two turns, uh, and they'll do like. 100 something damage each, which is pretty nice. So she could just basically sit there and just continually summon uh, all day. This is a charge of one, which means uh, she, she ch it charges over one turn, I believe. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So she activates the ability and then she has to charge it for one turn. Um, some of these actually do have a limited use. Uh, right, let me see. It's a three, is the, so two is the AP, like the mana, I guess you would call it. Uh, and the range, and there's, yeah, there's definitely some that have a certain number of uses. I can't remember which ones. We might come across one here. Uh, Arthas, look at his character sheet. Uh, he has 
uh, icy veins. Uh, so you stun enemy, forget to stun, see, target stuns. This is a, uh, a stun, a react. A lot of these are reactive. Uh, and we're going to talk about that because this, this gets into the, like, why it, the game seems kind of simplistic for, uh, for a tabletop game. Tabletop games typically, especially when you, you know, have a, a deal, a deal of cards here, uh, or a hand of cards, you know, you typically have a, a lot of cards to kind of go through. So you have a lot of opportunities, of different spells you can play, uh, a lot of different, um, you know, abilities to activate, stuff like that. Uh, and in, you know, in, in, in Pop-Up Dungeon, it feels like that the skill set is relatively limited because you only get so many cards. Like, for example, Ernot Rex, he only has three cards. Uh, he only has three things he could do. He has, you know, a shotgun. He's got a Krogan Rush, which is just a charge. Then he has a headbutt, just does damage. Um... And so, yeah, it, se it seems relatively limited what they what they're able to do. You, you kind of feel like you're playing the same moves every single like every single turn. Uh, but I mean, you know, like, Tali did pick up a couple more cards. Uh, she got sprinkles. <laughs> we got this from uh, from a, a construction worker or something like mob that we fought in the last match. So let's get down to the actual fights on the right hand side. This is your turn order here. So we can go ahead and select. Uh, this is the placement phase. So we have an encounter. They're all gonna. I guess they're gonna stay there. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and select some more characters. Just kind of move them around. We'll move SpongeBob forward a little bit. You can take it. There's lots of like character lines, especially with this, the UGC. Like they they almost all have. We'll have Shepard's good back up here for uh, SpongeBob. Um, <laughs> brand new sentence. Um, we'll put his here. Uh huh. And we'll put her over here again. She, the more open room she has, to just summon things all day, the better. Uh, Ernot Rex can charge his way in, but he needs to get uh, into into an open space here. And there's no, I mean, without he can't go through characters. You have to go around them. So I think what I'll do is I'll put him here, and then because all of the uh, every single piece of environment here can be destroyed and removed from the from the from the table, um, you can he can basically headbutt this thing and it'll disappear. Now prior to the encounter. If I click on something, like click, 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 they'll all disappear as well. So you can kind of like walk around and just kind of open things up and kind of and, and set up the encounter if you know the encounter is going to take place. Like, if, for example, uh, when I walked into this room, I think I had a moment before this encounter actually started. I probably could have cleared out some of these tables and whatnot, uh, opened this up a little bit. So if if this cover doesn't really work out, I can kind of fall back and then bring them out in the open or something if I really wanted to, if that was the kind of build that I was going for, for these, with these characters. I really do love these kinds of games. Um, you know, they're just, they're just uh, so, uh, I guess, relaxing, you know, just simple tabletop stuff. Uh, and this is just single player versus, you know, it's like playing solitaire, really. <laughs> uh, I've, I've only a, a handful of times have I done any like tabletop style games with, uh, with other people. Uh, I played this like space game that was like an eight hour game. It was insane. I can't remember what it was called, but I loved it to death. It was so good. Um, I would definitely play that again. It was seriously, it was, it was a trek. Eight hours or something crazy. Um, Imperial something? I don't know. But, but. Let's go and start with this. We got some colors here. Blue, blue means that's the best possible armor. Now this is, this is again, this is getting into the hand holding here. What happens is it's blue, and if I double click on it, it's already highlighting SpongeBob. So it's saying you could select him, right? I could pull it out and say, okay, I want that card. What do you want to do? I want to give it to or not Rex. I want to give it to SpongeBob, right? I have a choice here. Or, or I could put it away and just double click on it, and it'll automatically choose quote unquote the best option. Keep it up, people. So the game kind of makes the decisions for you in that regard. It's just a, gui a guiding hand. You don't have to do that. You have the option to choose which direction you want to go with it. Okay, so the cat just destroyed this. They're opening up some space too, which makes sense because they have a number of... Uh... Yeah, oh, yeah. The oh, oh, this is even better actually. Now I heard not Rex has got a direct line of sight. My leg. Oh, fuck, I love that. <laughs> all right, so he automatically played a card. This guy's getting all kinds of swings. Barnacles. Declan says that. Oh, barnacles. I was like, what? what? <laughs> Arthas. Oh boy, Arthas getting dumped on here. Now this is the second, this is the second stage of this run, so I don't know if this, if this is gonna be, uh, if this is, if I'm gonna make it out of here. Uh, taunt, so it's telling me right now that taunt is my best option right now. It's saying, yeah, aim forward and hit taunt. Um, which is fine. I can actually, I have, how many? I have four. So I have four action points. I can just go do boom and boom and that's done. Uh, I can also activate this. Let me see, steal 19 armor penetration, two turns, 38, 26, 66. Nice, better with a judo chop. So we will play this. Just to keep them, uh... And he has a plan. He has actually... That, that 
that taunt, he's actually said like three different things for that. So there's a lot of sound files that uh, that somebody put into this SpongeBob character. And like I said, you can create all this stuff. You could create uh, the, the actual characters. You could create the cards. Uh, I guess you could create like maybe items from the board or something like that. Like there's so many crazy things you could do uh, in this game for <clears throat> in terms of uh, uh, creating your own content. So I see, go for the optics. So she's oh, she's wide open here. Go for the optics would work out, but she needs to move a little bit closer. Uh, feed the meaners. You transfer 20% damage. Oh, from Arthas. Oh, interesting. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I like that. Um, so red means basically, you don't. That, that that's the least. That's the the least of you that you want to do. Like you want to take out this this little sconce here. It's like I mean you can, but it's kind of not really recommended. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna move over here, and it's gonna give me see two two that's five. Okay, good. So I'll move over here, and then uh, I'll go ahead and play this. I should be able to play this. So you know about actions. Oh, why can't I? Let me see. Oh, if you use three AP on abilities. Oh, that's right. So I have to use this. So I will use that. I'm running. I've used a bunch of action points walking around now. My bad. Uh, and then uh, yeah, I can't spend it now. So yeah, I forgot I had to spend a three. Uh, is she still gonna be able to do that? I don't think so. I thought she wouldn't be able to. Oh, maybe maybe she can. Uh, is what if that's gonna spend on the next turn? The two. Anyway, so she's charging that up. She's gonna spawn that. I'm so there's still some aspects of of the, the the rules and whatnot that I'm not entirely used to. What does he want to do with this one? Uh, let's see, harvest. Uh, let's see, if HP is below, siphon. Okay, you want to harvest her soul? No, I don't, I don't think so. Let's just get him closer here. <laughs> let's get him a little closer to the to the fight, but not too close because we need room for Rex to get, to be able to maneuver here. Duty calls. Okay, Rex is up. Now Rex has a lot of options here. Uh, we can a shotgun blast. We can, uh, we can, you know, rush. We can headbutt. Uh, we could rush and headbutt. Let me see, right? He's got two, five, and then one for the move here. I should be able to do both. Oh, he wants to headbutt that over there. No, no, no. Let me, let me just see if I can just do some damage to this guy. Why is he trying to move over there? Oh, he needs room to rush, it looks like. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's go back. Okay, so well, yeah, we'll just go ahead and just do the, the headbutt. Who am I to argue? Who am I to argue? Yeah, who am I to argue? The game's right. <laughs> okay, we're going to rush. Ah, cool. And I can step aside now. Hopefully, none of these guys actually have any uh, any movements abilities. Let's see, Ren armor, nothing there. Okay, there there is some like you know opportunity uh, cards that can get played. Hostile ability, enemy targets hostile ability at you. Attack. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's the scaredy cat thing. Fireball. Okay. So yeah, no, no, nobody has any movement things that would prevent me from doing this. So great, we're going to play that. I don't take orders from you. <laughs> <laughs> 147 damage. Get him, Rex. Rex. Let's Shepherd. Do Let's see. Uh, Blaster. Finally gets to use his Blaster. Man, he was support the whole last match. Uh, yeah, yeah, play on that guy. Got it. Too slow. Oh, there he goes. Okay, I was gonna say that should be a kill. Uh, tech armor to yeah to SpongeBob. Okay. I mean, like I mean, the suggestions. It's not like necessarily a bad thing. Like it actually kind of makes the gameplay a little bit more fluid because most of the time it's like yeah that is the best option. Like I get that. It's the best option for sure. You know I do have uh, oh good job SpongeBob. That's right. Hamstring. Uh, it's my leg. Uh, I do have um one major complaint. I have not found anywhere in the settings where I could mute the voices. Um, one of the major issues I had with, uh, and it could be, it could be here somewhere and I just don't see it. Let's, let's go take a look and see. Uh, but if we go to like audio and also, by the way, I turned off the, the camera automation because while you're playing, the game will automatically pan to every piece of action that's going on. And I wasn't really feeling that. I kind of like the static, you know, here's the board. I just watch the board kind of thing. Um, but yeah, the, the, the audio here, there's dialogue text volume, there's UI text volume, there's ambient volume, music and sound effect volume. Uh, nothing, the dialogue text was not, that's, that's uh, um, like uh, the, there's like dialogue that happens for like campaigns and whatnot. So that's not what I was looking for. Um, the UI volume, obviously that's UI stuff. Uh, although I do wonder though, like if, let me do this. Let me pull this out. What is the D mean? Oh, just maximize, I guess. D. Okay. Um, let's pull down the UI volume and the sound effect volume just to see if either one of them impact this. I'm curious now. No voices. Also no, no sound effects. No UI sounds. Okay. As expected. Let me see. Let's play Judo Chop here. 
Yeah, nothing. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Let's see. Which one do we think it is? Do we think it's sound effect that it's attached to? It's sound effect. Tartar sauce. Yep, sound effect. Yeah, it, it's it's just because it's not so much like the annoying part is that you just you, you can't just turn off just the voices because the um the the UGC stuff is fine in most cases, but like, <laughs> but because those are the characters that are, you know, we're, we're kind of reminiscent of, you know, it's kind of like, oh, that's cool, SpongeBob's doing whatever. Um, They're all yours, Topeka. But the in-game characters, the built pre code of Imp, Cat Knight, there's Dr. Pepperoni, there's there's the meter maid, there's all this stuff. Like, they're corny. <laughs> like, they're so corny, I don't want to hear it. I'm just like, oh, God, I don't want to hear that stuff. Oh man, we're going to play that. It's a good card to play on that right there. That finishes off that imp, I think. Yep, roasted. So yeah, it, it, I wish there was a way to do that to just just re just remove just the voices. And there might be like I don't know, maybe a patch or something like that. I could download something to remove them. Uh, because in Card Hunter, I had that same problem. Yeah, go make another one. Perfect. Uh, in Card Hunter, I had the same problem where. Um, Every time a character, like one of the characters would talk, like quote unquote talk, it would make this kind of like, ooh, ee, like kind of sounds. Uh, and it, was, it just got really annoying. <laughs> I ended up just playing the game on like mute or without the sound effects, just like this. See, Harvest Soul, all right. So 39% below, uh, HP percent is below uh, targets, which it uh, is not. Okay, so, it, okay, let's see what happens. Here's how this going to play out. I shall show true pain. Oh, evasion, launch. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So, jump back ability. Let's go and move him out of the way. Your and we can position him, aim him. Has come. Uh, I should be able to aim him here. Clicking on him. No? Oh, I guess, does that take a movement? It might take a movement. Oh, snap. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. <laughs> let's see. Headbutt. We get headbutt. Cat Knight. Uh, Krogan rush this guy. Well, let's go and take care of Cat Knight. Shotgun Blast. Let me see, yeah, not much. I mean, either way, the Cat Knight's pretty, pretty <laughs> swole, so we're only gonna do so much damage. <laughs> we're gonna do this. You can stare at there face to face. Let's do it. All right, Shepard. And do you have another, another blast here? Uh, nope, so on cooldown. Okay, so you can just tech armor up. Looks like we're all yeah, okay. Shepard makes a pretty good uh, support class. <laughs> Just constantly dishing out those uh, uh, one meta gel and two the tech armor. Keep my woo, Tali. Her uh, Chakita Chatika should be able to. Run. Never mind, not finish off anybody actually. This guy gets a number of swings. I wonder what the deal with that is. There's the meta gel. Get him, uh, SpongeBob. Let's go, Judo Chop. Oh god, I still so much. Not in front. Uh, no stability, so he can't. He can't turn and make that account, that attack, huh? Let's see. Subterfuge. God, I feel like she needs help, but oh, she's kind of on her own right now. All right, just Judo Chop. And then. Okay. Okay. So, feed the meter, shared damage, transfer 45% of damage over two turns. Why would you, let's see. I mean, that's a huge amount of damage here. Right. Uh-oh. Resisted, launch, great. Well, it's gone now. Let's just sprinkle that, oh, you? Uh, that would free, uh, yeah, not doing anything to him, but free. Spongebob up to come over and get some assist. This the donut comes down from the skies and shakes the uh, sprinkles on <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> see, this is right here. It's like it highlights the chair. It's like, do you want to take out this table? It's like, no, actually, no, I don't. Well, I'll, I'll charge it on one of these, though. I mean, every turn, a summoner should just be pulling out whatever they can to add to the battlefield because now it's this turn. It's going to do a little bit of damage. 154, finishes it off. Perfect. Spongebob's freed up now. Bring Spongebob over to uh, do some work to Cat Knight. Arthas is in no position to do anything. Oh, well, he could probably get in his face a little bit, but what does it want to do here? Harvest the soul, ice prison. Oh yeah, no. Ice prison the thing there? No. We'll just get we'll just get close. We'll try to entrap this guy. Gotta react. Uh, that's the uh, drop back. Yeah, the jump back there. So we'll go ahead and just get here. So be it. So be it. Ah, <laughs> it's like Dr. Claw over here. I'll get you next time. 
Uh, shotgun blast to cat knights. Let's see. Or a Krogan head, but I mean, everything's cat knight here. So, which one's gonna do the most damage? 120. Uh, 171 damage to move forward, two forwards, and then one anyway. This will actually keep him at a distance, it seems. Yeah, so we'll just might argue. keep him open a little bit because if we go here, I think the cat's gonna squeeze, squeeze right by or jump right by. Yeah, launch. There we go. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Yeah, I want to get this cat trapped. They've seen it. Okay, so Shepard's out. Uh, Shepard can come around the backside here. We can catch up this cat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. I'm the daddy. Let's go. Oh, snap. Rip, Tolly. Bush tits. Oh, snap. Oh, God. Oh, Tolly, no! <laughs> My waifu. Fun fact. Mission control. The launch is a go. All right, SpongeBob. Let's do this. Resisted. Uh, yeah, actually, I wonder if this is going to trigger that reaction. Oh, he doesn't get a roll on that. Good. I, I wasn't sure if he gets a roll every single attack, so good. Already spent it once, failed, and then uh, get him a second time. Ice Prison! Stun! There we go. Now we can keep this thing from bouncing all over the place. <laughs> Resisted. Here, this is boom. There it is. Stunned. Your efforts are futile. Beautiful. Icy veins. You stun enemy. Target stun. So automatically plays the next card. And roasted. Dang! God damn. Arthas. Yeah. Rex, you are really far away from any action, but Yeah, look at all the targets. It's like, do you want to take down one of these pieces of furniture? Not really. <laughs> I kind of would rather position here. Tactically, we want to work on this. I'm on it. Alright. Shepard, let's do this. Blaster. Blast at the back. Let's end this. Oh! Oh, it's resistant. It's fine. 143 damage. Facing the wrong way, cat. <laughs> Meow. Nice. Oh, man. This poor cat. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's got a reaction. Okay, hey, Judo Chop. Oh, not quite enough. Ah, oh, SpongeBob. All right, who gets the final cut? Oh, looks like <laughs> Arthur's gonna get the final touch here. Sick. There you go. <laughs> See, like, I don't mind those ones. Those ones are great, but goddamn, the actual, like, the built-in characters, the ones that, like, the default ones that come with the game, I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> All right, so we do get a couple cards we can use with some of our players here. Uh, so it says we got uh, Flame Orb, 35 Elemental Power. Um, that's for her. Let me see. This will get rid of her what? Let me see. Ignite. It gets rid of Ignite. Oh, okay. It activates Ignite. Oh, okay. I mean, this is a good card, period. So we should definitely get that. Oh, the Omni Tool goes away. Plus 14 support, Magical Power. That's fine. Um, and so that ends up getting uh, thrown in the... Oh, that actually... She swapped that out with uh, SpongeBob. Oh, interesting. Huh. Hold on. So he has an Omni Tool now? That sounds really weird, but... C plus 14 support, magical power. Oh, it's just... A, okay. And then the Karate Hand. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Gosh, I mean, his defense is... I mean, you know, we're going to end the run right now anyways, but uh, still. Uh, so what you could do is you could either... You could either put it on a character, right? Like this. So let's say a specific... The game's trying to suggest to say, yeah, you want to go this route. But let's say if I was like, nah, I want to stack defense or something. That would do that and I would trash this. Right? <laughs> uh, let's see. This wants to once we give this to Rex again. This would change how Rex op. No, this actually would add. I think. Um, after I walk out of here, let me see. Physical power. Huh. To my primary. Nah. No, no, oh, whoops! I just sold it. <laughs> uh, so I see. Hand painted braces also too. Let's see. What does that give us back? Meta gel pack plus three defense. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Actually, we cover over. We can see. I don't know where I'm going. Like, why does it keep activating her? Uh, oh, maybe it's because I, well, I don't, I don't know. Um, let me see. Medical pack plus three defense plus 13 evasion. Yeah, that's way better. He's tankier with that now. After I walk out of here, I don't know where oh, I'm going. Oh, it's, so it's, it's saying here, that, um, it wants me to give it to her. Give her the Krusty Krab hat. Oh my gosh. You can just envision, envision this right now, guys. Tali Zora with a, here, uh, I see what's light power. I don't know what light power is specifically, but, um, 
critical chance is pretty dose. We'll just double click on that. We'll get rid of this. And then we have gold left over. So there you go. Encounter's over. And that is that is one run. Uh-oh. 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 Oh snap, we got part two. Well, we gotta do it then. We got new we got characters with all kinds of new stuff now. We gotta do this. Let's see. Let's get Tali Zora. Tali Zora's in a good position, actually. We'll leave her right there. Whoops, wrong button. Got some uh, some new she's got a new hat. <laughs> she's hold I love how she's holding the actual parking meter from the last run. Uh, the weapon so by the way, yeah, the weapons actually do show up. Like now we have Rex with a with the Excalibur or whatever his sword is. Uh, and this is part this is part of the character customization and item customization that you could do. Like people are making these things and importing them, making like a PNG or, or you know a sprite sheet and they're putting it in there. Uh, Alright, so let's move some other folks around. Let's get Rex a little bit closer. Krogan first. That's right, Krogan first. That's what I'm talking about. We'll have uh, Shepard going back up my boy Rex. Uh, SpongeBob, can we get you over here? That's right. Arthas, great support. Just kind of slide in at the last second, do some work. Uh, let's keep her back here. Yeah, he's standing right. You're standing right there now. Oh man, another round, boy! You guys thought it was over. Here we go. See now we're getting better at this, right? So now, now we're gonna just cruise right through it. Let me see. So, yeah, let's do it. We'll just play everything that wants us to play. <laughs> play easy mode. Wow, whopping 27. How much health does this guy have? Hold on. No, not that one. Uh, HP 427. Okay, they're all probably around the same, right? Yeah, 498. Uh, actually, wait, who has... Is that, what is that? Moon Strike? Okay. I mean, it pays to go through and see what these guys have. So, Slash. This guy's huge. He's got a cleave. Okay, so be careful of that. 909. Oh, this guy's a beast! I'm standing right here. Okay, Tali, can you just spend, spend uh, some points on anything and then summon? There you go. That's oh, this is great actually. That's a huge amount of range. One to five. Holy crap. Yeah, good for her. Yeah, do that because that's that's my three right there, and then she doesn't have to move too far, rather. Um, this should soften them up. And then she can activate this, and we'll activate that. Uh, oh, she knows pretty good. Spot. Oh, she can summon it. How far can she? Oh, she has to move for that one. Okay, we'll summon right next to her. I don't want her to move anymore. Just leave her there. Just keep, keep her back so she can just summon all day. Okay, so you're down to your turn. Skeletal Warrior. Skeletal Warrior versus Arthas. Ooh! God was coming up the backside of the Urnot Rex. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm hey, SpongeBob, ready. you're in a bad position, bud. What does it want me to do with the yeah? Uh, taunt that there. Okay, subterfuge. Subterfuge, yeah, sure. Judy chat. Okay. Um, I see why it wants me to move here, because it's, it's going to take me a number of action points just to move to this point. Uh, so, and the that is just for... What does it want me to do with that? Taunt what? Taunt the freaking table? Oh, just to open it up a little bit. No, 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 I don't want to do that. How funny that that's suggesting. So yeah, don't always trust it. You got to look at what it is because sometimes it's going to... Uh, like This is a good move here. But yeah, that blue, just to got the table, I'd much rather have the table there. Much rather have the table there. Let's do it. Okay, Shepard is going to have tech armor. He's going to tech armor up who? Arthas? Arthas? Well, he's hurting. Uh, but I'd rather go to, to, uh, to Rex. He's right here. Just reload and keep fighting. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. You done? To Owl's turn. Moonstrike. Range. Oh shit! I should have given it to Arthas. Oh, there's the meta gel. <laughs> they should have given it to Arthas, man. Oh, firebolt coming from. Oh, I just roasted a what chair. Do for you? Or something. Yeah. All right, Rex. Oh man, if only you had a cleave or something. See, uh, Rend Armor Mice, 59 defense, one turn. Let me just headbutt. Let me see, what does this do? 132 in the days, 3% 3 3 chance of days in one turn. I mean, you just spend some of his points here without moving. Just doing whatever kind of work you can. 104 days resist. Go ahead and do this. Should have done that first. <laughs> Should have done that first, damn it. Oh, crap. Yeah, I just bust that up and move right through the table. See, the game was trying to work against me there. Let me see. So blow. God, he's in a bad position. Uh, as long as he's not in cleaving position here, which he kind of is. There's a one to two range. Um, 
That worker's not gonna move for a second. Let's see if we can move him back here. Oh, that takes four. Oh, snap. He's not gonna be able to do it. Mm, play it from there. Bow before I shall show you true. Oh, what is he? Oh, he's going for the damn owl. No, oh, I wanted to go for the ogre. <sighs> Fine. Whatever. Damn it. Okay, Tali's gonna get out of the way now. And she has to spend some points. So she's got some work to do. Uh, ignite this guy. He still he already has uh, damage over four turns. I wonder if that actually stacks. Let me see. Does it show his debuffs here? Active effects. Damage over time. He turns points. Let's see what happens here. If it, if it ups it to five turns. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm curious. And it is oh nice it just stacks straight up wow that's gonna be a lot of damage taking off that guy this guy for a minute um I want to get out of the way because that way you know the the way Tatika can move so you move here and then we'll have enough to let me see feed the meter that's gonna be a huge amount you know what she might actually be able to take this guy up by herself the transfer data transfer or the thing oh gosh she knows oh, gosh she got so close okay it's fine burden and then optics and we'll spawn it on not on that side we'll spawn on this side yeah right here she can focus on that right 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 <laughs> okay let's see arthas is in bad position here no defense down that's cool oh but follow with attack meta gel gosh i'm way over there he would have been, yeah, he would have been dead. Oh gosh. Alright, Chatika, it's gonna do some damage here, 100 something. 140! Imp's turn over here. Or the goblin, rather. Wish I had some straight line. Oh, that's it, it's rip. I wish I had some good straight line attacks, you know, like mages have. It's kind of arcane. It's something. Let me see, Scepterfuge. See who. Gosh, this ogre really needs to go. He's about to cleave the Chitika and um, and Tali on his next turn. When is his turn here? Let me see. I still got a few, and Shepard comes up too. I wonder if we could burn down this ogre. Hmm. What does he want to taunt? Oh, he can taunt that whole line. Never mind. Then go that way. Barnacles. Yeah, we'll do that. That's the, definitely the better plan. I think a judo chop what? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Bam! Bam! You heard him. We hold here. All right, he can actually pistol this guy down. Uh, let me see. He has to move into position, but oh, he cannot. Hmm. Why is that? Oh, because he doesn't have the damn points. He has like zero mobility. Look at that. So if I move, I, it's three. So I have to basically get in position first, and the next turn, turn around and do it. Um. Oh, that sucks. And he can't even give like this. Yeah, he has such low action points. <sighs> I mean, my best, I, I think what I'm gonna do is actually just move him in better position and then, um, like maybe here and hope this guy's cleave isn't like a whirlwind. Yes, sir. About the best I could do, I think. That way he's in better position to support. SpongeBob's getting, oh yeah, he's fine. Okay, the imp versus Rex. Nope, fireball to the back. He's fine. He also has his own oh, meta gel he could activate. Don't piss in my ear and tell me it's raining. Uh, oh, headbutt. Headbutt that Skeletal Warrior. He'll be done, actually. Hmm. Let's See do it. Party, Let's do it. I was going to have him just stand over here and just tank this Imp, but you know what? Imp doesn't have a lot of health, so... Okay, got some gold out of that. Yeah, we're done. Sorry. I keep forgetting to end turn. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so it's, an arc, it's basically a straight line arch. And he also got had another turn. So the Chitika's gone, but I know Chitika's coming up. And then let's see. Uh, ignite him. No, we gotta do some straight damage now. Sprinkles, 275. Oh, yeah, we'll just shotgun blast. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Be the meter. That's gonna do. Yeah, it's just shotgun blast. I am Clanzona, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. Are an idiot. And then, oh, she finishes him here, I think. Yep. That's it. Oh, we got a spatula. <laughs> Might as well go get another one here. 
Uh, yeah, we'll just play it. We'll just we'll turn right here, though. I mean, we're gonna win this fight, so. Right. Let her charge that up. Go on. Barnacles. Barnacles. Give it everything you've got. That man, gel sick. I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like my team is OP a little bit. Just a little bit. I could do this run all day. <laughs> Let's see. Continue the taunt. Subterfuge. Let's just do damage now. Whatever damage we could do, let's just do it. They've seen us. This guy's got 11 damn action points. The hell? Let's see. Blaster. That's what I wanted. You're in my way. Now he's in position. He can start. Yeah, now he can start blasting. Actually start helping. He's gonna land on SpongeBob. See the taunt, the taunt, baby, keeping everybody else alive. Well, everybody except for Arthas, but you know that guy's just used to dying by his points. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Krogan headbutt. Where is he at? Oh, he's right there. Hmm. Let's focus on this guy. I think he has enough action points for another move. He, he doesn't have to move. So, oh no, he does not. Must be a. Uh, what is wrong with this? See, activate while well, day. Oh, days. Oh, snap. Okay, yeah. Chitika with a hundred and something. Beautiful. Go get him, Chitika. Good girl. Good girl. I'm standing right here. So Chitika is gonna this other Chitika is gonna disappear in a second. Uh, ignite, speed the meter. Mm. Let me see. Yeah, it wants to target, but no, here we go. Take that. Let's go ahead and we'll take that, but to oh she can't reach? Oh, I see. She can't. She's no line of sight here. Yeah, might as well. I'm That's good blast. This should soften them up. Beautiful. And then, of course, we play three. We spawn another one. I love. I love it. There's like. There's so many custom characters. I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. But man, there's so many custom characters to choose from. Just reload and keep fighting. There's like all the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> it's like He-Man and stuff. There's some like nudity stuff in there. Uh, I have to turn off the filter or turn on the filter rather, um, because there's like some, there's like some titties, you know. And I, you know, I don't want to. Not every video has to have titties in it, but I just wanted to see if there was, because uh, it has there's a maturity filter. And I was like, if people are really making some like you know, <laughs> sub characters with the uh, with the uh, nudity, and sure enough, yep, <laughs> absolutely. If it exists, of course, Chitika's gonna, uh... Now that Chitika is probably on the last turn, I think. Ooh! What you is Chitika? Hold on a second. Could start hitting something? <laughs> oh. what can I do for That's fine. We still won the fight. Hold on, I want to see. Uh, explosive drone, enemy kills your target killer, Chitika attack. Okay, yeah. Alright, so, Kroger shotgun. That'll take orders from you. There you go. And that's it. Bam! Bam! Dirty square pants. Oh, snap! And of course, same thing. So, this patch is no good. Dirty square pants. We'll put that on <laughs> on Rex, I guess. Gladius. The sword. Get rid of this. Then, get rid of this. I mean, yeah, we'll just toss it. should just toss them all. And then, you exit level. And then, this is where. Yeah, everybody's back. We got up our defense, up our health. Oh, this is an endless run. So, the endless run is, uh, is you basically continue to get upgrades and all that stuff. Uh, now I am going to see boss level three. No, it's fine. We're gonna go back up here. We've seen enough. <laughs> this is, you know, I, I play, I play a forfeit endless run. I played the, the shit out of Card Hunter when I was, uh, when I had Pleurisy, aka, if you guys remember, uh, Pericarditis, aka Picarditis. Um, I was stuck, you know, Every time I'd have any kind of viral infection, that no matter how small, I was stuck on the couch for like a week and it sucked. Um, and so, yeah, like I played Card Hunter a lot because it was the perfect kind of a lack of fall asleep in the middle of it and it's totally fine. Um, and so this is probably where that, this is gonna go, right? It's gonna be my next, uh, you know, play, play when I'm stranded on the couch, you know, bored or whatever. I mean, the pleurisy is gone, so. Uh, that's not gonna happen anymore, thank God. But still, so this is your your uh, your stats and everything. MVP SpongeBob SquarePants. I see that all over the place. Uh, damage Tali Zora is all the damage of the tank, though. It's fucking SpongeBob. All right, and so this is just individual card sheets here. It tells you what they what they've done, and then we're gonna go ahead and back out. That's all my gold. 
the game aesthetically is, is amazing. Like, watch, we open this up and just look at all these these characters kind of floating here. Uh, these are all the different uh, roles you could, all the different uh, characters you could choose from, uh, and you could sort through the different roles, right? We're just gonna go to uh, all, um, and each one has my Clark Kent is Chuck Norris, right? They each have their own like There's saying. Really no point to my pointy ears. They certainly. Yeah, see, I, 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 I don't need to hear damn voices. The, the, again, the, 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 the built-in ones are um, so corny. Let's see, enable you to see uh, mature content. All right, cool. So let's see. Uh, sexual content and nudity. We'll take that off. So drugs, language, gore, blood, violence. Totally okay. Totally okay. Just not the, uh, just not the titties. Everything else is totally fine. Severed heads? Sure, why not? Okay, so now we're going to go into the create. And then, uh, oh, sorry, 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 we're going to go to uh, charms, what was charms? This was, uh, I already came here. Oh, yeah, yeah, so when you, when you complete, like, a campaign or a run or whatever, you get this, like, the room style, like, uh, uh scene. Um, and you can, uh, you can, you can interact with some of these things and you get coins and put to get in here and this will drop out something that'll, you know, uh, augment your deck or your character or your player character. Um, but we don't need main. I mean, again, it's aesthetically, it's beautiful. I did it really. It does have a very the room aesthetic. If you ever play the room, it's like a puzzle kind of game. Um, hard to explain, but it's definitely it's a puzzle game. It's like an escape room kind of puzzle game. Um, let me see. So create. We're not gonna create yet. We're gonna go through the UGC so you can see what people have, and then I'll show you just briefly how they actually uh, make it. So download here. Uh, no result. Oh no, here it goes. So yeah, we got the mask, Scott Pilgrim, uh, Captain N. Captain, Captain yeah, Nintendo, whatever, uh, Mike Tyson, and if you right click on them, you get their sheet, get some music, <laughs> ear chomp, good night, I'm the, I'm the baddest motherfucker, <laughs> Wade Wilson, Deadpool, Deadpool, mm-hmm, hey man, oh, no sounds, I mean, I might make it better, actually, <laughs> Egon, there's something very important I forgot to tell you. Don't, Don't cross, cross the, streams. the streams. Uh and there are I mean there are lots. Like there's 76 pages here of this. So I mean this is how many per seven, six, I mean there's like fifteen hundred or something like that, right? Because there's those there's, there's five per line. Oh, so it's ten, ten. So there's seven hundred and sixty. around that, right? Seven hundred and fifty, I think, because the last one doesn't finish all the way. But uh but yeah, like this there's a lot. There's a kind of man shepherd, uh Avatar, Saitama. No sound. One punch, Captain America. No sound. That's comic book Captain America. Harry Potter. I mean, it's sick. Like, there's just so many different things that people can put. Leonardo. No sounds. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's just so much customization that goes into all these characters, and you could just get in and just make one. Shrek. Nothing. Cool. Cool. Make me look bad. Ten thousand years. Give you such a crick in the neck. <laughs> uh, let's see. And you know, some of these, I mean, Geralt, there's uh, Professor Sad. Uh, oh, I was just like, oh, now, yeah. There's, so basically, I've seen this character a million times without the uh, the nipple shields. Let's see, Scorpion. A scorpion strikes faster. Mm hmm. Like, yeah, let's just, let's just flip, flip through. Lionel, hold on a second. Ah, oh, Thundercats, ho! <laughs> The <laughs> Dr. Frost. I mean, God, there's so many. It's it's crazy. So, I mean, and, you know, for the most part, like, they're pretty well decked out. Like, there's, you know, they have their own, like, set, set of cards and they're, custom they're customized. Like, here's the TA-100. I'm a cybernetic organism. Yeah, so look, I mean, like, they make their own cards for them. And, you know, I don't know how they're balanced or anything. Uh, but, you know, eventually, especially when you're playing Endless, eventually you're going to run into a, a brick wall. Someone's going to take you out, right? Uh, as the characters get ha harder and harder. You scale up too, but still. Um, let me see. Thorian Holy Avenger, John Wick. This is Wick. Sick. Uh, yeah, there's just, again, there's just so many. Like, we could go through these things all day. There's like, there's um, somewhere in here, there's uh, like Minecraft Steve or something. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And then we'll go back out here. And then we could go to the actual create. 
So we'll go back and then go to create. And so this is where it's like, okay, I want ability, ability media. Do you want a character? Do you want an enemy? Do you want equipment? Do you want a game? Do you want a game mode? Do you want a projectile mode? Do you want content manager? This is so much stuff. So like, if you got a character and you want to make a character and we'll just, uh, we'll just see, we'll create new and we'll say, you know, let me see, and the entity is supposed to say AKA. Uh, backstory you could fill all this in. I mean, it's just like a character sheet you'd fill out for any kind of tabletop game you're playing. Uh, your major strength, power, you could choose. And, and and this is where it's crazy. It's like, okay, so primary stats, cool. Power, speed, right? Or if you want to break it down, it's like this, this, and then there's this, and then there's all of these, and then there's all these, and it's just, just so freaking many. It's just endless. The amount of customization you could do. Strength, basically, you could get in the same bin, like have like tons and tons of stuff in the drop downs. Um, Weaknesses, same thing. So you can give you have unlimited, <laughs> unlimited capabilities here. Abilities and equipment, uh, master ability. Uh, so select or create new. So this is where you create. You know the card says, "Would you like to transition to the ability scene? All changes made to the scene will be saved." Sure, because I think we're. Let me see visuals. Uh, oh, character image template. Template. So we could select one. Uh, and this is yeah. Here we go. We could go and select. You could import your own, of course, if you wanted to. Uh, we could Saitama. We could have a troll. Uh, and so, yeah, you could just make your own, use a template and just, you know, import it. Uh, it's the animation style, neutral, beast, combat, cute, duelist. If you notice, SpongeBob was kind of like constantly dancing around and everything, just kind of, yeah, being kind of quirky and whatnot. Like that's, that's the, the mannerisms you assign to it. So like this character creator, this, co the content creator, whatever you want to call it, like is so deep, so deep. Um, death fan, let me see, comical, belly plank, uh, black, <laughs> cast possessed, <laughs> <laughs> Drill dig. Oh. oh man, jump ape it. Mm. Yep. Yeah, it's it's crazy. See, so speaker data. Oh, this is uh, it's like the the dialogue. Oh, the dialogue. Oh, snap. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so you could go through and import your own. Uh, I don't have anything to import, of course. Was that blade? Hold up. Hold up. Where'd it go? I swear I saw blade, but now it's gone. 154 items. Why is it not showing me page? Go back page. Oh, okay, okay. God, it's really tough. Um, can I actually hear it? I wonder. Edit. Let's see, Mason neutral. Let's see, image on popsicle. Oh, image on popsicle stick. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. So if you notice, the enemies had like their own things on um, popsicle sticks. Angry, happy, sad, emotional audio. Okay, emotional images. Makes it angry. Wow. So it's it, you could be in here all day just going through and, and making your character completely custom sounds. Okay, that was all visuals, of course. Uh, voice pack select. And then, yeah, we could probably test some of these things. Probably like in line there, I'm willing to bet, right? Let me see. Uh, oh, I guess mm. they weren't bluffing. Mm hmm. Right behind you. Yep. Back off! Pow! So. And you can make all those yourself, of course. Advanced. I mean, it was a place paste YouTube video URL. Oh, wow. So you could actually input, promote your own YouTube video here if you wanted to. Uh, let me see. Artificial intelligence, aggressiveness, active. Okay, cool. So if the character's playing itself, you could just, um, you know, set it up in such a way that you can, I could do that. You play voice sample, play victory animation, victory animation. With better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> let's see. Let's go to Billy's equipment. I'll show you the create new here and create new ability and transition to this. I mean, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Like, there's just so much. Create new. Uh, and so this is, yeah, you can area effect. You can choose how you want this ability to function. And it shows up on the card plate itself. So you could see how the uh, uh, how the ability is going to play out. Uh, action points. So it looks like there's, I mean, I can make this thing basically free. Um, let me see, cool down the range. Make it like a hella range. And then ignore it's not line of sight. Um, let's see, and then let's see logic. And then I see, ooh, okay, actions, hurt, damage, action. Nice. Mundane, yeah, mundane. Air, uh, physical. And then we'll do body. And then placement. Um, let's see, feel, field? And then, oh, yeah, so a place, so he'll basically place a field uh, in this area here that will stay for the remainder of the game, basically. Um, Right? Let's see. For or for one turn, however long it lasts, I guess. Uh, and it will... Yeah, field duration here it is, so turns. I can make this a five-turn duration. So if he... if he, Let me see. Playability media. Let me see if it works here. 
No, he's a cosmetic. Okay. I guess I want to see it actually in action, but yeah, he'll basically place like one, two, uh, three and four, and it'll create a field there that will do physical damage, physical body damage, uh, whenever somebody steps into it. So, I mean, this just, again, they're unlimited, unlimited. Let me see. We'll select ability images. <laughs> There's already a lot of stuff in here. Um, so you could go through it and you know, upload your own and, or just use one of theirs if you want. And so it's like, okay, I want to be this. And so there it is. You're making your own card. Uh, it's, it's wild. It's, it's just wild. I'm really, really impressed with this level of, um, of customization that they have available here. Uh, and it, and this extends out into, into all the other facets as well. Like there's, let me see, go character scene, select, go view glossary, really character. Um, yeah, it just extends on to everything else too. Like there's just so many different things that you can create. Let's see, scenes like view Gloucester. How do I exit this in character creation? Your main menu, there we go. Yeah, I mean, again, everything else here. Character, enemy, equipment, game, game mode, you know, etc. Like it's just, it's just crazy. So if you're looking for a tabletop game that is, um, I mean, it's just, again, it's aesthetically beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's, it has a unlimited you know customization uh it's a lot of work of course you know but uh you know i mean you could create it for yourself and then just uh enjoy it you know playing your own characters uh i could bring my boy darnell in this thing if i wanted to like it wouldn't be hard well it would be you know, a lot of work of course there's a lot of like you know, stats and make sure it's balanced and all that stuff uh but i mean it's possible and that's the main thing is that it's freaking possible you create your own uh game boards like yeah totally <laughs> Uh, now, the, uh, you know what though? I, actually, something I don't remember seeing, uh, is there, I, let me see, Endless Run, let me see, Endless Run, uh, the Arena, Top 10, I bet the Top 10 is probably, see, Cash and Warning, Storm's Club, Dealing Dead, oh, okay, I'm just Dealing Price, um, Selected Modes, I want to see if there, I'm willing to bet there is, Dynamic Difficulty, Include All, Start Down, okay, so this is just basically modifications, um, Game runs, stories, seasonal, the Wizard's Tower, search installed games, uh, search workshop for games. Here we go. Yeah, this is what I was. This is what I was looking at. I wanted to see if there was a Mega Man pop up dungeon. What the hell? I wanted to see if there was a custom uh, actual map that people had made. Of course, there is. There's four pages of it. Um, so there's you know a good few to get you started if you. If, Excuse me, if you wanted to. Uh, I'm actually going to hop into the Mega Man one real quick just to kind of see how that looks aesthetically. Let me see. Download and Mega Man run data. See, download workshop icons. Okay, so it's music, audio, awesome, enemy data. Okay, so it's giving us uh, projectile. It's giving us a full environment, really. This might be mind blowing, actually, with what you could do here. It's just gonna take forever to download. Uh, in the meantime, though, because we're gonna wrap this up, this is a long one, but um, uh, the game is $24.99. Uh, if you're looking for a simpler uh, and maybe more straightforward uh, campaigns are already pre made for you kind of setup, uh, this is again, this is a roguelike. Uh, so there's there's procedural generation that goes on with the characters and the and the, the runs that they generate for you. Uh, but if you want something that's a little bit more preset, uh, then I would recommend Card Hunter. Also, Card Hunter is free, um, so that's an option for you. Uh, but yeah, this is I mean twenty four ninety nine. You know, it's it's for a game that some of you could potentially log hundreds of hours into pretty easily. Uh, I see that as a pretty big win. <laughs> This is a lot of stuff, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. Uh, the game did come out August 20th uh, uh, or August of 2020. So it's been out for a few months, which is why we have so much content for it. Um, but in terms of like, you know, recent stuff that they in terms of them kind of staying up to date and everything, their most recent update was December 20th. Uh, that was with the Krampus Christmas update. So they do seasonal stuff. Uh, and that's when they introduced, uh, I, I believe, a Corgi or something. Um, Corgi character and like 12 campaigns for their 12 challenges for a new campaign that they had uh, prior to that though it looks like they update I'm just kind of going through their news right now they're updating probably every month or so like about every about oh, several times a month up until Christmas pretty much um, and then they kind of eased up a little bit after Christmas so um, so yeah the game might be kind of in its final state uh, it is it is not in early access so you know it is a uh, game what you see what you what you get uh, but I mean, you know, there could be stuff that comes later. <clears throat> there are a number of people that want this game on my list. Very few actually own it. Uh, Mab, Martha, Azrieth, and uh, Bog Otter—they own it. 
Um, not surprised with that list, actually. Uh, I could see Martha having it. Martha probably has some words to say after he sees this video. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> just, uh, probably, I'm sure Martha has some things to add. Uh, this is insane. This is insane. I'm running out of stuff to talk about right now. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fast forward this bit. This is a this is a lot. That seriously took a long, long time. Nine hundred and sixty-four pieces of media. I will get. I, this better be just outstanding. We're gonna go in real quick just to see what it looks like. Just to see what it looks like. Holy crap! Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, there's like a... Oh, Hunter, what, what have you done? This is crazy. I'm listening to the music. Wow. Completing everything. Everything. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh no! <laughs> it's like a stage! Uh, continue. Alright, it's such a stage here. What? This is crazy, dude! Oh my god! Oh, step! Uh, yeah, let's go to, uh, let's go Gutsman here. Let's do it. Oh man, I gotta see the enemies. I gotta see the enemies. Oh, hold on, turn around. I gotta see. Look at that. Oh wow, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, well, I think we've seen enough, but dude, this is nuts. Let's right click on one and see. Uh, big guy touch damage. Oh man, this is nuts. Yeah, so, like I said, the game has an insane customization, uh, a user-generated content section. Um, this is a whole campaign. This is an entire campaign with, uh, with like six, what, six, seven bosses. Uh, there was a, there was a last boss at the bottom that I wouldn't recognize right away, but, uh, yeah, this is crazy. So fucking cool. So, that's it, guys. The game is called Pop-Up Dungeon 2499. My name is Mike B, aka Pony. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.